Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on completing the square for quadratics of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So where we have a number on from the x squared, just like we have a number from the x squared here, and we've kind of implicitly got minus one on front of that x squared there. Now remember, to complete the square means to get an expression where you have the x in a bracket like this, squared, and the x only appears once in expression. And we won't explore in this video, but this particular form has lots of practical uses. For example, for finding the center of a circle, for finding the minimum or maximum point of a quadratic, etc. But we'll focus on that later. Now, the method is this. We firstly factorize the coefficient of x squared, the number in front of x squared, out of the first two terms. So if we do that, we factorize out that 2 in front of the x squared out of the first two terms, we get 2 brackets x squared plus 6x, because 2 times 6x is 12x, and that plus 17 is just going to be outside mining its own business. And then step 2 is to complete the square inside the bracket. And if you don't know how to do that, please explore my video on that when we just have x squared plus something x plus something. So if I just write what we've got again, so I'm just going to repeat it, and then we're going to complete the square inside here. So do you remember that we halve the number in front of x, so half of 6 is 3, and we write x plus 3, close bracket, squared. And do you remember, whatever that number is there, the plus 3, you square it and throw it away. So we have minus 9. And notice, by the way, we have a bracket within a bracket. And then finally, we expand out the outer bracket. So if we expand the outer bracket, well, we've got the 2 times this thing here. So 2 times x plus 3 squared is just 2 times x plus 3 squared. Don't expand out this bracket, otherwise we get back to where we started. And we've also got the 2 times the minus 9, which is minus 18. And a very common error that students make is that they forget to do the 2 times minus 9 and just write minus 9 there. We've still got that plus 17 there. And then finally, let's just tidy up. Because we can do minus 18 plus 17, that's minus 1. And there we go, we've got it in this particular form because we've got something, x plus something squared, and then plus or minus something. Yeah, so we are done. Right, what about this second one? Now, implicitly, there's a kind of ghostly 1 here. So it's minus 1x squared plus 6x plus 20. And by the way, if these terms are not in the order something x squared plus something x plus something, then reorder them first so that the x squared term is first, the x term is next, and then the constant term is last. So let's do exactly what we did before. Factorise the number in front of the x squared out of the first two terms. So the number in front of the x squared is minus 1. So we're going to factorise the minus 1 out. So minus 1 times what is minus 1x squared, which well, is just x squared. And minus 1 times what is positive 6x, which well, minus 6x. And we've still got that plus 20 there, mining its own business. Step 2 is to complete the square inside the bracket. So if we just copy what we've got outside of this bracket, and then we're going to complete the square inside here, this thing here. So remember, we've half the number in front of the x, so the minus 6 to give us x minus 3 squared, and then whatever that is squared, we throw it away. So minus 3 squared is positive 9, so we throw away the 9. Remember, this is always a minus after that squared, regardless of whether that number was positive or negative. And then final step, expand the outer bracket. So we do minus 1 times x minus 3 squared, which is minus 1 x minus 3 squared. We got the minus 1 times the minus 9, which is positive 9, and we got that plus 20. And 9 plus 20 is 29, so it's minus 1, x minus 3 squared, plus 29. Now, whenever we have a negative term followed by a positive term, we tend to reorder them, so it would be better to write the 29 minus 1, x minus 3 squared. So 29 minus, we don't really need that one there, do we? So it's just 29 minus x minus 3 squared, and that's the preferred form, because that looks a bit tidier than that.